It's a beautiful day, so why be inside, right? I know normally we're inside. Normally you see Kate inside the place, a studio. But I want to catch up first. If you're, you look so great in the sunshine. How are you? I love the sunshine. It's my happy place. <laughs> this backyard cooking is my happy place, and I'm so good. It's good to see you guys. Are you, are you missing the station? Are you missing yes, the studio? Yes, I miss like. All my crew, all of you. Yeah. So well, we I'm glad you that too. you came to me. Thank now, you so much. Now I know this because you had a blog and, and you're a resource, you're, you're yes. a pillar in the community. I'm sure people are asking you all kinds of questions that they're quarantined. How do I do this? How do I do that? What, what are they true. saying? What are they asking? You know, you? one of the most common questions I have is I have a freezer full of, you know, maybe they bought a quarter cow or I've got frozen chicken. How can I prepare this? And so something I teach in the pellet grilling 101 classes. I want to show you guys that little tips and tricks today. And it's awesome because, you know, we go to Costco or we buy those 40 pound boxes of frozen chicken and then four o'clock hits and we go, oh no, I forgot to thaw my chicken. But what guess do what? I do? I know, what do I do? But here's the trick with your pellet grills, let the smoke cycle thaw that chicken. Really? Yes, and it works amazing. You're gonna get more smoky flavor. You're gonna have a juicier product when it's all said and done. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys okay. today. So over here, we've got simple chicken breast that we have thrown on the pellet grill. And we are going to season them up. I'm gonna grab one of these here. Okay, what, what are those you're using? These are some local to Utah companies. Hey Grill Hey Chicken Rub. I've got Hooks Rub, I've got Scene Smokehouse. Just some awesome, I love supporting local. So yeah, what, what we do here, we've let the chicken smoke from frozen for about 20 minutes. Cause if you throw it on, I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying I've never done this before. Like I'm kind of scared right crazy, now. You're kind of right? freaking me out right now. <laughs> so 20 minutes in, it's wet enough on the surface for that seasoning to stick. So you didn't even gonna, touch it. I saw nope, you. You didn't even touch didn't it. Didn't even have to worry about touching it. We let it. We seasoned it up. We're gonna let that smoke for about another hour and a half. It's at 180 degrees. What that's doing is it's safely thawing it, and it's adding all that yummy extra smoke. It's a great way to do it. And this is what it looks like. Yes, and then when it's all said and done, you know, an hour and a half later, it's thawed. Then we increase the temperature, like what we've done here. We've increased the temperature to 350 degrees. And then we finish off this chicken until it hits that 165. Boom, that's a little over, but guess what? It's still super duper moist. I have low standards. She knows I have low standards. That's why. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, I'm like 165 internal temp with chicken is the money. So what are, what are some rules that you live by when you're going to repurpose or reuse what's in your house? Yes, I like to not overpower my seasonings because if I cook a bunch of chicken and I season it all like teriyaki, how is that going to go in chicken enchiladas or something, right? right? So I try and be very, very, um, safe with seasonings and cooking it to that 165. You know we're gonna need more help, right? Oh yeah. So how do we get a hold of you and get all the knowledge, you well guys, not all the knowledge, because then we won't have to find one, yeah. Me, Kate's Meats and Mills com on Instagram and on Facebook. You message me if you have any questions. I love to help. This smoking from frozen method is amazing for steaks, for pork chops. I don't recommend it for a full turkey. That's not safe. Yeah. But find me, ask me questions, let me help you out. Yeah, we're gonna be in the studio soon again. Everything's gonna go back to normal. Let's keep hope alive. We're gonna be fine. Fox13now.com and don't forget to click on the place. Bye guys, see ya.